In today's video, I'm going to show you some rough looking pennies. All of the pennies in this video have been in circulation and they're not pretty, but they sold for between $1,300 and $207,000. Watch this video and find out what you need to know to identify valuable pennies. Take a look at this 1914 Denver minted wheat cent. There were only a little over 1.1 million of these pennies minted. Based on the mintage and the current population, this penny is a key date and they're very valuable. This wheat scent was graded XF45+. Not an impressive grade, but impressive enough to sell for $1,320 at Heritage Auctions. 1909 was the first year of the Lincoln wheat scent. The mintage was less than $500,000 for this 1909S wheat scent. This coin is even more desirable because it contains the designer's initials, VDB, on the bottom of the reverse of this coin. Having his initials on the coin was controversial at the time, and the initials were later removed. If you have a 1909S VDB, make sure you check out the prices on PCGS.com. This rough-looking penny was graded XF45 Brown by NGC, and it sold at auction for $1,380. Let's talk about one of the most famous double die pennies in existence, the 1955 double die. A double die is a variety where the hub and the die were misaligned between strikes during the die making process. This causes doubling of parts of the images. This causes doubling of parts of the images. You can clearly see the doubling on all of the numbers and letters on the front of this 1955 wheat cent. This one here is one of the lowest grades I could find on Heritage Auctions. It graded XF45 by PCGS and it sold at auction for $2,100. Here's a 1922 No D wheat cent. If a coin doesn't have a mint mark, that usually means it was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Well, that's not the case here. In 1922, no pennies were minted in Philadelphia. This wheat cent is supposed to have a D for the Denver Mint, but it doesn't. This makes this NGC graded XF40 brown penny a real collector's item. Even in its poor condition, this penny sold at auction for $2,127. 1917 was the year Buffalo Bill Cody died. When you think about history, you can't help but wonder if maybe Buffalo Bill had that 1909 penny from your coin album in his pocket way back when. He died in January, so it's unlikely he touched our next penny, the 1917 double die obverse. You can see obvious doubling on we, trust, and the 9 and the 7 of the date. This old penny was graded a well-worn XF45. After being bounced around in pockets and purses, it was eventually identified and graded by PCGS. This penny sold at auction for $3,220. 1922 was the year Buffalo Bill Cody died. Just kidding, I wanted to see if you were paying attention. I talked about the 1922 No D penny a little earlier. The one we looked at before was the weak reverse variety. This one is the strong reverse variety. Between the two varieties, this one is more valuable. This one graded XF45 on a scale from 1 to 70 and sold at auction for $4,600. The 1944 steel cent is extremely valuable, but don't get it confused with the 1943 steel cent. In 1943, all pennies were made of steel. The copper normally used in pennies back then was needed for the war. The mint resumed mintage of copper pennies in 1944, but somehow there were some 1944 pennies minted on these steel planchets. As you can imagine, these are very rare. PCGS estimates that there are only 25 to 30 of these in existence. This one was so corroded and damaged it didn't even receive a grade, and it still sold at auction for $11,700. And here's a copper 1943 S penny. Like I just mentioned, 
Pennies were only supposed to be minted on steel planchets in 1943. This 1943 S penny was minted on a copper planchet. It graded far from MS-70. It only came in at VF-35. Despite the poor grade, this rare coin error sold at auction for $207,000. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.